Viewer discretion is advised. Common thing regarding DLC. The conversation surrounding what kind of DLC expected for Sparking Zero is weird. The conversation starts off something like this. I think Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Z movie characters will be cut, and then they're going to resell them as DLC to us. Ha ha ha! If this 164 total is true, and Sparking Zero is a sequel to Budokai Tenkaichi 3, something's not adding up. I don't think the roster total is going to be 164 and people are just trying to be high brain. Now something that we must remember in regards to selling content is new is always better. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is a continuation of the Budokai Tenkaichi series. It's technically Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Any cut character won't be considered a new character. Again, going off of new is always better, trying to resell those characters might actually leave a sour taste in people's mouth. Now, there might be some that will say, they might resell some of the cut characters as DLC because Street Fighter, Tekken, and some newer fighting games have done this. But in the case of anime games, new is always better. It allows Bandai Namco to sell their games better effectively. The main reason why I posted those clips was to show that I was speaking logically several months back. There have been people who might have thought I was goofy or I didn't know what the hell I was talking about or I'm just talking, I'm yapping. And yet, since back then, I was pretty much using logic. I didn't subscribe to the idea of 164 as it was never officially stated. Since the beginning of the game, I've been saying that this this hasn't been officially stated so let's wait. I've used logic to break down why I think DLC would go the way it did prior to us knowing what the DLC pass would be. I can say that I come across as an asshole. I come across as a know-it-all, heck I come across as somebody who may not listen to other people's opinions. Whether you believe this or not, that's not the point. The point is, is that I typically try to use logic and if someone is going to counter my beliefs or what I'm saying, I look for that same logic so I can have a better understanding about what I'm saying and I can improve my own talking points. Because of this, a lot of the things in the community that people were sharing just sounded ridiculous to me. What I'm trying to get at is, is that I think I am one of the more smarter or more so intellectual people in the community for the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero community, in fact. I would even expand that to the anime gaming community. We're not really known for having logical thinking processes in this community. And as such, someone having that or attempting to do that, people don't think they make sense and then when their thought process finally gets confirmed, then people want to give them the kudos. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. You were right. GT wasn't going to be DLC. But, but, but I remember you said that it didn't make sense. But it was going to end and it happened, right? Now, granted, we don't have all the characters, but still, nonetheless, here we are today. And look, I don't want to tell you guys any of the characters that I saw in the leak. I won't be sharing the leak and hopefully anyone who clicked on this video got the warning because me slightly talking about this. But yes, I am happy. This game is great. I got all the characters I wanted. And if you watch the videos, you know what character I wanted and I got them three times. Anyways, I just wanted to come on the video and say that 164 dot 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 where you at now, yeah. So if you know, you know. But that's going to be it for me. I'm Makai San. Please hit the subscribe button. We are on our way to 5,000 subscribers, and I want to get there as fast as possible. What, yo?